Hi and welcome to your Friday Extra. This week we come with some good news for once. Today registration began for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. That is a fund that was released to the federal government that will be providing grants money, grant money, not loans, for our hospitality industry. Registration link open today, official link for the application opens on Monday. We cannot stress how important it is for our hospitality industry that has been one of the hardest industry to apply for this money. It's not a loan, it is grants, and it'll cover so many expenses over the course of the last year. And the hope is that it brings you up to date. So as we enter recovery, you will start on fresh footings. So this is all really good news. And I encourage, eat local, shop local. Like we said, there's a lot of good news this week. A lot of us know, most of you should know, and those who don't are being informed. The Bronx is getting four new Metro North stations. MTA has been putting out the plans. It's been something that's been in the works for more years than we can count. It looks like it's finally happened. Over the course of the last few years, they've had open houses, giving information, asking for feedback. Of course, especially during COVID, it became a little difficult, if not impossible, for us to be able to share in the information, put our ideas, share our ideas with MTA and city planning. They took it one step further and now have a website. You'll find the link below and on our webpage. And that website is allowing all our residents, businesses to really look at the project closely and put your opinion. Let's have a discussion. Communication has always been of concern and MTA is really working towards making sure that our voices are heard. This is an amazing program project for our borough. It definitely leads in the road of recovery. It brings jobs, it brings more business, it brings new housing. So I really encourage everyone, let your voices be heard, go to the link, check out what MTA is doing. You can always call us or call City Planning for more information and you will find that on their website. Next on the list as we're discussing businesses, we are asking for a call to action. Councilman Mark Joni and Councilwoman Vanessa Gibson have two bills in City Council, 2233-2234. It's asking about getting rid of some of these burdensome violations that have been received by our businesses over the course of the last year during COVID. We're looking at these two bills to start us on the right footing. And it is important that you pay attention that you call your council people and let them know these are two bills that must be supported. On a lighter note, this year the Bronx Chamber of Commerce wanted to do something a little special for Earth Day. We partnered with the volunteers from the Empire City Casino by MGM. They brought out their fabulous volunteers. We had Van Nest Hardware provide us free paint, brushes, and other things to help us clean up some of our uh, commercial corridors. It was a lot of fun. They brought out almost 10 volunteers coming into the Bronx. Empire City Casino employs over 300 of our Bronx residents and we really thank them and Van Nest Hardware for encouraging to come in and help our borough recover. Visually pleasing brings more business into our area. So we thank you for partnering with us on Earth Day. Another fun thing, we have been very happy as we welcome new members to the Bronx Chamber. The Bronx Chamber has worked tirelessly. My staff has been an incredible support system for all businesses, thousands of businesses in our borough. Due to all that hard work, we have a large number of new members that have joined. So we will be hosting for our new members two breakfasts in person, hybrid also, for those who are still not comfortable coming out in person. But of course, we are all about safety with the six feet social distancing, mask wearing. Um, but these new breakfasts are an opportunity for our new members to introduce themselves to other members, develop working relationships, and 
The hope is do business with business, keeping all our business in the Bronx. Join the Bronx Chamber and you can be part of that. You can also look to sponsor some of these breakfasts so that you can meet your colleagues across our borough. And finally, one event that we always look forward to. I don't golf, but there's many of you who do. We are hosting our first outdoor in-person fun event, our golf outing scheduled for June 22nd. This year, it's bigger than ever. Again, always keeping in mind that safety first, mask wearing, social distancing, but it is expected to be an amazing day. Check out our website, call our office 718-828-3900, get in contact, find out all the details, and we hope to see you on June 22nd. One last item, looks like July 1st, we may be back to normal. Cross your fingers, stay safe, get vaccinated so that we can finally, I don't know, maybe hug each other. You have an amazing weekend and we'll see you next week.